Hi. In this video, we're going to learn how to use Ministry Assistant along with Territory Helper um, in your territories. First thing we want to do is open Ministry Assistant. Hopefully you've already downloaded this from Play Store. And you should have a screen similar to this. Uh, it might have some more information on it service timer and so forth. Now you'll notice down in the very lower part of the screen we have a home button, a report button, push the report button, it show, it'll show how many hours you have in the month and placements and videos shown and so forth. Uh, there's also uh, a service here if you're a pioneer or so forth or even daily what you be using. The next one over is interested. Uh, this account doesn't have any interested people in it yet or people that you're talking to or Bible studies or, and so forth. They'll show up in this um, particular area. Now the next one over is called territory. So we're going to test that. Uh, now it says here press the plus sign to add a new territory. That plus sign is in the top right hand corner. See where it shows a little map with a plus? Touch plus. Now you notice the first uh, item down is called import and it says import from territory helper. Now if your congregation is using territory helper for their territories and you've requested a territory and been assigned a territory you can import them in here which is very convenient. Otherwise you can create manually a territory. But what we're going to do is we're going to import from Territory Helper. Now if you've gone there and requested a territory and been assigned to territory, if you touch this it'll automatically show you what territories you have assigned to you. Yeah, depending on the internet uh, strength here. You notice in here there are a number of territories assigned here. So you could open whatever territory you uh, would uh, like to work in at this time. Why don't we open territory number 18. Now notice it's downloading. Uh, it, it now it says a city here. That's territory 18 is now in your thing. You can assign it to a neighborhood. This says unknown. But what we're going to do is we're going to assign it to the south side of the city. It tells the city that it's in and so forth. So now what we're going to do is we're going to save that. So hit up in the right hand top corner, save. Now here's your territory. And I'm also going to hit done. Now here's your territory. You'll notice that each of the territories as you go down um, the list. You'll see all the houses in this particular territory. Now, and the street names. Now, another useful item in, on this page is up in the right hand a blue bar or banner. You notice there's three dots, something that looks like a map, and something that looks like a pencil. What we're going to do is we're going to click on the map icon turns in these three bars but now we're able to see our territory map and here's all the homes and so forth in this particular territory so now uh, if you want to see this from a satellite view or Google Maps uh, up here towards the top you'll see what looks like a little globe in a white circle touch that globe now you can see the houses in real time or as a picture. And there's, there's no mistaking what this house is right here, is there? So there's how you see your territory. Now I'm going to touch the icon again up here that was a globe, now looks like a map, and I'm going to turn it back into a globe. Now I also want to see my streets again. So I touch that one again. Now we have these streets. 
Now suppose you're working in the territory and you want to see, uh, you're, let's say you're going to work on East 16th Street. Now in the lower left-hand corner, you'll notice what looks like a, a little uh, street sign post. Touch that. And now you can look at one particular street that you have going here. Let's go down to East Blue Sky Drive. Touch that. Now these are all of the addresses on East Blue Sky Drive. I'm again going to touch my map and see what my map looks like. And it shows all the houses on this particular uh, street. Now looking in on it, you notice a couple of the houses have little uh, uh, circle with a slash in it. Those are do not call houses for one reason or another. If you touch it, it'll show you that. That's a do not call house. And so is this one. But now we're going to go back to our, we want to go back to just looking at our streets. Now here's a helpful item. Let's say we're working East Big Sky Drive and we only want to work the right hand side or the even number side. How do we do that? Well, you can, you can uh, isolate those up in the gray bar that says East Sky Blue Drive. Notice the three dots. Touch the three dots. Now, if you look down at the bottom here, it says show even addresses or show odd addresses. If you touch that, only the even addresses will show up. Now, if you're, uh, wh whoever's working with you might wants to just do the evens or you do, you can just do the evens and you'll know just the numbers for those or the odd addresses. And there are the odd addresses to be done. Now, you can also look at the map and it'll show you just the odd numbers on the map. Now, we're going to go back to our our houses again. Now suppose we're working down the street, the odd number, and it says odd up there, and we go to house 1621, no one's home. What do you do? Touch the white area of, the, of it, and it opens up this dialog box. You can add a visit. In other words, if you contacted somebody, Mary, an older woman, you can put that information in here. If the person's not interested, you can also put that in there. I'm going to touch that one. Now notice 1621 is crossed out and has a date and a time that you crossed it out. So you've been to that house. Now here's a useful item. In case you did the wrong house and you were crossed off the wrong one, that can be redone. You'll notice in the same white box over on the right hand side, three, white, three dots right below the date. Touch those three dots. That opens this dialog box. You can edit in here. But what I want to show you in here is down at the bottom, there's a little, uh, the second one from the bottom says reset. If you touch reset, notice it takes it back off in there. So we're going to work on this house again. Let's say we've gone to the house, and this time they're not at home. Well, we touch the not at home button, and notice now that in 1621 the little house has a 1 in it. That means that you visited the house one time with no one in the home. Now, let's say you go back next week or tomorrow, and you visit the house again, and still no one's home. Touch it again. Now you'll notice that in this box on the left-hand side with the little house, it says two. You've made two visits, and still no one's home. Let's say you go back a third time, not at home. Now there's three times. If you work it three times, four times, whatever, then you know you've covered your territory. Isn't that a great little feature? Now we're going to undo that again, reset it so that it's not in there. Now uh, there are other items on here the person's not interested. At no, t uh, they have just don't have time today. Maybe you want to. Maybe you'll want to go back again. You can click it that way, and you'll see that you just weren't able to contact them. They just didn't have time to talk. They were busy. Maybe they were just leaving the home or whatever. And go back another time and find out they're not interested. And so we do that with them. So I'm going to reset that again. Again, there are all kinds of different things here. The, there's one that says peephole. That perhaps are HBH or home but hiding. You can put that in there or uh, whatever. Maybe you can you need to write a letter to them you can put that on their tracks and articles that you may have left with them
and so forth. And there's one down there that says no ads. That's basically no soliciting. Uh, maybe the house is vacant. They say they don't want to be called on again. You can touch the do not call. Now it's crossed out. It becomes a permanent in there. And uh, we'll discuss that later. So we're going to revert that back. And uh, uh, there's no trespassing. The little door's locked. Or maybe they're even a witness. Or they're studying with somebody. So those are some features of how to do that. And uh, uh, hopefully that, that'll get you started in your territory.